Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the Pure Mathematics P3 International A-Level at Excel, January 2023 exam. This question here, we have a function f of x, which is this like algebraic fraction. They told us that uh, you got f of x equals 2x to the power 4 plus 15x cubed plus 35x squared plus 21x minus 4 over x plus 3 all squared, where x is a element of the real numbers and x is greater than negative 3. We've got to find the values of the constants a, b, c, and d, um, such that f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c plus d over x plus 3 squared. So this is basically a an improper fraction, and we have to change this improper fraction into a mixed number. So there's a numerous ways for us to do this. Probably the the, the easiest way would be to use algebraic long division. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you first, and I'm going to show you how to do it also using, um, you know, uh, identities. Okay. So let's first of all start off with algebraic long, long division. So first of all, x plus 3 all squared, I can write that as x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, don't make the mistake of saying x plus 9 or x squared plus 9. No, it's x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, x plus 3 times x plus 3. Now, that then can be the denominator. So x plus 6x x squared plus 6x plus 9, and that will go into the numerator, and on top of here we'll find out how many times it goes into there, and the remainder will be left underneath. So I have, you just have to make sure that everything is here. We've got 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, so everything's there. We don't have to worry about anything being missing and putting 0 in that place. So 2x to the power 4 plus 15x to the power of 3 plus 35x to the power of 2, plus 21x minus 4. Now, hopefully, when we um, do this algebraic long division, we'll get the correct answer. So, first of all, x squared times something is 2x to the power of 4. Well, that's 2x squared. Then I multiply the 2x squared with these three terms. So, 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the power of 4. These two have to be the same always, otherwise you've done something wrong. Then 2x squared times 6x, 6 times 2 is 12, so that's plus 12x to the power of 3. And 2x squared times 9, that's 18, so that's 18x squared. Okay, so now I'm going to take these this line and subtract all of these. So I'm going to have a minus here. So I'm going to do, this is because you zero, of course. You have 15x cubed minus 12x cubed, which is 3x cubed. 35x squared minus 18x squared, which is plus 17x squared. And bring down the next term, which is plus 21x. Okay, is that 35 minus 18? Just make sure in case I made a silly mistake there. 35 minus 18, and that gives us 17. That's right. Now I do the same thing. x squared goes into 3x cubed plus 3x times. Then I multiply by 3x. So I got 3x cubed plus 18x squared and plus 27x. And then I subtract these two lines. This, of course, gives you zero again. 17x squared minus 18x squared is minus x squared. 21x minus 27x is minus 6x. I bring down the next term, which is at 4. Then I say x goes into x squared goes into a, a negative x squared minus one time. I have minus one times x squared, which is minus x squared, minus one times six x, which is minus six x, and minus one times nine, which is minus nine. And then I have to subtract these. Um, this becomes zero, zero, and minus four plus nine, which is five. So this is the remainder, and this is the quotient. So I can say that. Um, f of x is equal to the quotient, which is 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, plus the remainder, which is 5 over the denominator or the divisor, you could say x plus 3 squared. So we can see our values of a, b, c, and d here very clearly. So we can say a is 2, 
B is 3, C is minus 1, and D is 5. So that's probably the simplest way to rewrite this in terms of a mixed number, okay, to write it in this form by using algebraic long division. Okay, there is also, there are also other ways of doing it, which involve um, identities, which also can be used, comparing coefficients. For part B, um, they've told us to find the integral of f of x, so we have already um, simplified this in such a way that we have separated it out into separate terms. Just this last term, I have to write it as to the power of negative 2, like this, so that I can get it ready for integration. Okay, and now all of these terms I can integrate. This, this last term here, it can be integrated by reversing the chain rule because outside the function is something which is a constant and the differential of what's inside the function is also a constant. Therefore, it can be, you know, the, the, the chain rule can be re reversed for this question. So now I'm going to integrate it. So I'm going to add one to the power and this one and divide by the new power. Same with this one, I'll add one to the power, divide by the new power, the number term will gain an x, so it'll be minus one x, and here I'm going to um, add one to the power, so I have x plus three to the power of negative one, divide by the new power, which is minus one, and that's it, I have to multiply by the differential was inside the function, which is just one anyway, so that's fine. And then I don't forget to put the plus c because we're integrating. So this gives me 2 over 3x cubed plus 3 over 2x squared minus x. Now there's a minus and that plus will give you a minus. And I can write this as 5 over x plus 3 to the power of 1 plus c. You don't have to put power 1, that's fine. So there's the answer to this Part B of the question, pretty simple, once we've done part A. And that concludes this question. Question number four from the January 2023 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic, which is to do with um, algebraic fractions and integration. Okay, I'll put them, I'll put out of algebraic fractions and also integration for P3. And um you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon